Oh dear. Well, here we go. So, uh, welcome to Animaniacs, um, on the Sega Genesis. Um, th this is a very different, this is not the same game at all as is on the Super Nintendo. This is the same game as was on the, uh, Game Boy. And my timer didn't start. Well, that's wonderful. Uh, let's try that again, because it costs us no time. Dear timer. You, oh. Um... Nope, okay, it did start. It just didn't say it started. Good job, OBS. I love you too. So, there's only one difficulty, and that's hard. And we skipped the cutscenes. So, um, the backstory of this game is uh, the Warner siblings have decided that they're going to run around the uh, Warner Brothers studio a lot and steal some movie props and use them to open a hip pop culture shop. So, um, first we've got to escape from the tower. Runt is not a very good guard dog. And, uh, first we're going to go to a uh, movie set of Bungle in the Jungle. Which is totally not Indiana Jones. We're going to jump on some platforms and, uh, and we're going to get in a cannon because that's always a good idea. Sound should be messed up. Give me. Characters do have different abilities. It shouldn't be. It's coming through Final Mayan. That's weird. What the hell? Damn it. Or darn it. Um. What? And my everything just went stupid. Okay. I'm just going to roll with it because this game is silly. I apologize for any issues. I, I've done what I can. So, um, I, I'm seeing some Animaniacs Castlevania, so assuming my laptop doesn't explode. Um... Y'all, y'all are in for something. And my timer didn't start this time, did it? Oh, yes, it did. Never mind.
I mean, I can do that if you want. This music isn't particularly good. I mean, the, the best thing about this music is that it's not the Game Boy version that um, just makes your ears want to explode off of your head anyway. I have an alligator with Boo AI. We're going to ignore him. My, my everything volume is literally at maximum, so... I... I can't do a whole lot of anything. I guess I could lower my mic. Oh wait, Ralph. No one likes you. So the Animac do some different things. Uh, Wacko has a hammer, Dot kisses things, and uh, Yakko has a paddle ball. And we're going to climb up these logs. And you cannot make that cycle. It looks like you can, but you can't. And uh, now we're on a two-wheeled minecart that somehow remains balanced that uh, doesn't need its wheel to move to move. Because what are animations? Um, we, we could use the switches and go down, but um, then we have to switch back up or we fall to our death. And there's no point in falling to our death. Is... Wow, okay. Um, I, I, I can fix that. The most wonderful thing of all is the OBS says that I, uh, I have game audio. And I have audio in my ears besides, which is even more wonderful. The problem is that it's not. Um, there's there's my mic, and then there's uh, the game audio. So, and both should be being output to the stream. Oh dear, I'm, uh, this, okay. That was a terrible fight, and there was nothing that I could do about it either. Okay, so... We're not super pressed for time, so I'm going to uh, see if I can fix this audio problem. A.K.A. Space Trucking, A.K.A. the movie that the Animaniacs were watching. Okay, that's... That should not have... What I did should not have done anything, but whatever, I'll take it. 
Thank you for being a good program, OBS. Um, anyway, um, this level is based on the episode where Wacko has to go potty. And, um, in the end of that episode, he uses, uh, Totally Not Darth Vader's helmet as a chamber pot. And, um... <laughs> oh, um, actually, I can... echoing, um, but I'm sorry. <laughs> Oddly enough, even though this is the only episode, this is the only level directly based on the Animaniacs episode, this is the, ep this is the level that got cut from the Game Boy version. So, we have a mini-boss fight here. I'm fairly certain we're supposed to be trying to jump up on this spaceships in the background to uh, avoid him. But, that sounds like work. So, um, as a note, that fight um, I can't do that fight with my eyes open, I have to close them and count the number of hits. <laughs> and that was bad. Okay, whatever. I'll take it. Whatever game. Whatever you say. quality game over the Game Boy version. Um, game Boy version does a lot of really questionable things, um, so... If you don't like this music on the Genesis Hardware FM synth, imagine this music directly ported to the Game Boy's 8-bit MIDI chip, because that's what they did. They just didn't care to make it actually work on a MIDI chip. So, um, it's bad. It's, it's really bad. Um, my theory behind the whole thing is that this version of the game was probably never planned to be on the Genesis. It was probably planned for the Game Boy and the Game Gear. And because the Game Gear more or less flopped, the Konami was like, well, we're not going to make it for the Game Gear. Let's just upgrade a little bit and throw it on the Genesis, because the Genesis at least has the same number of buttons as the Game Boy. isn't all that bad. Um, granted, I grew up with the Genesis, so my opinion tends to be uh, skewed. start the worst level in the game. Yeah, the, the health bar is really, really unclear. Um, 
So Ralph here is going to throw 10 bombs. There's nothing we can do about it. He's going to throw 10 bombs, and they're going to go wherever the heck he wants them to go. Ralph again with a lasso, but uh, lasso is no match for a paddle ball. For a, uh, paddle ball. Jump up here and move this box. And, uh, there's some major spikes down there. There's nothing to worry about that. So we're just, we're just gonna push this switch because why not? Doesn't look too scary at all. That is the wrong Animaniac for that. Okay, whatever. It's not a big deal. I still have plenty of health. So, uh, Rita and Flavio here are causing some problems. We got some barrels. And I'm gonna wait for these barrels. So I don't trust myself to not screw it up. Fabio are not the ones causing the barrel problems. That one's Mindy. And I'm just getting on that barrel. So the good news is you can ride that barrel down. The bad news is if you're on it, when it hits the bottom, you uh, run into a camera and instantly die. So there's box puzzle here. But I don't like doing box puzzles. They take me 45, 50 seconds, so um, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to jump on the fire. So, um, Dr. Scratch and Sniff's can only cameo in the speedrun has already passed. Um, I'm sorry. Speedrun, the only place you'll ever see him is as a silhouette on the intro stage. Um, he is in Space Wars, but um, th there's no reason to go out of your way to go to him. We saw Helen Nurse in Space Force. Here's her second appearance. So, um, Helen Nurse exists solely to uh, ruin your time. Because if you're controlling Wacko or Yakko, they will immediately stop and will whistle her and do nothing else. You have to switch to Dot. Best music in the game. boss in the game. Uh, this is the pie boss. Um, he's gonna throw pies at us, and we're gonna throw pies at him, and we're gonna hope that our pies hit him, because that's all we can do is hope that our pies hit him. Um, this fight can take anywhere from six to three hits. I theorize that it probably times out eventually, and it's just a matter of hitting him. I have no control over where this thing goes. I only have control over that I can hit it. I also have no control over how he moves. Hey, three hits. Okay. So on the next screen is, um... So if you're not already Yakko in the Game Boy version, you just died. Because uh, Ralph jumps off that much more quickly and he will jump up on the camera and instantly kill you. Supposed to be able to do that, but he can't because why not?
eventually. Unfortunately, this fight is, by and large, timed. Because who doesn't like timed boss fights? So, uh, Ralph, Ralph's the security guard, his badge... His badge is an old movie prop. said you wanted Animaniacs X Castlevania, um, welcome to that game. This level is that game. So we're gonna push this over, we're gonna rescue Mindy, because we have to rescue Mindy. Um, underneath that hay bale is a clown that will send you straight back to the beginning of the level. So we're going to not turn to a clown, because nobody likes clowns. No, no, this this is Animaniacs X Castlevania. This this house, this is Castlevania. We are in Castlevania right now. So um, don't blink the next screen. I hope you saw the hint for how to beat the mini boss because you just got it. This is the mini boss. It's Count Dracula. We beat Count Dracula. This is the long library, and here we have uh, Pinky in the Brain in their Eclipse Machine. Um, it doesn't really do anything but suck, but uh, Brain at some point in an episode convinced people that he sucked up the moon because there was an Eclipse. Pinky in the Brain. It's not like these guys are going to be important at all. Puzzle, but um, I'm gonna solve this puzzle wrong. You know why I'm gonna solve this puzzle wrong? Because you have to solve this puzzle wrong in order to beat the level. You also have to actually stand on that teeny tiny little platform because why wouldn't you have to stand on a teeny tiny little platform? this block. Oh, good, we, we solved the puzzle. Hooray! And sometimes you can uh, jump in midair there. I'm not sure why or how. If I knew how, I would do it because it saves frames. Hey Spielberg, bye. We don't care. because if you jump up as quickly as possible, the water will still be high enough that it has a kill plane, and you'll die. So I'm this block puzzle if Yakko will grab the freaking box. I'm supposed to die, because here we go. Classic Castlevania Dracula. But who needs a vampire a whip when you have a hammer? And he does actually, you know, shoot more fireballs, but, um, it's stun. Out of hit sun willingly, you're nuts. So I don't want to have to deal with fireball waves that cover half the screen. And we beat Dracula. Isn't Animaniacs 
Maniac. Well, the Animaniacs were cartoon characters that were created way back in the 30s in the Warner Brothers lot. But they were deemed too crazy and zany and insane, so they locked them in the tower. They locked them in the water tower. It doesn't actually hold water, it holds them. Yeah, for some reason, Dracula had Jason's mask. Don't, don't look at me. I mean, it's Konami. They had to know that they were going to put Dracula into the game as an Easter egg to themselves. They should have just made it Dracula's cape or his, you know, fake teeth or something. <laughs> Instead, they went with totally not Friday the 13th and did then did Dracula instead. Yeah. So, you can disable those flames, but I genuinely did not know you could disable those ga flames until um, I was messing around in the speedrun one day. I was way behind and I jumped through the elevator, the wall on the left hand side at the bottom is fake. And I was not aware of that for the 20 some years that I had opened this game. Because I bought this game for $19.99 as a child and I still own it. I hope we're not buffering. Good, it's not me. Or it's not. City's on fire! We have random fire that shoots in random arcs and is really annoying. And, um, Sega Genesis does not like this screen. If you are playing this on a Sega Genesis 1 or 2, this screen it will uh, lag horribly. It's a little bit less on the Genesis 3 for some bizarre reason, which every other game that has lagged, the Genesis 3 lags worse. But not this game, because this game. In fact, we are almost completely lifeless through this screen. That was a really amazing fire screen. And we grabbed the Oscar. We have an unkippable cutscene with our main antagonists of this game, Pinky and the Brain. What are they going to do th tonight? 
the same thing they do every night. Try to take over the world. How are they going to do that? I don't know. It's the one thing that all people, regardless of all that crap, love. Processed cheese food. Yes, cheese! No. What do you mean, no brain? Everyone! Oh, I I'm sorry, there are lactose intolerance. I'm sorry, brain, you're right. I'm sorry, forgive me. Well, I mean, they had that uh, eclipse machine or something. I, I don't know. Note, the mouth movements here are completely random. There's like four different mouth sprites, and you just copy and glue, and the game just copies and glues them however the heck it chooses to. Short rap, big head can talk, because it's genius. you were thinking about how to teach a, teach a sardine to speak Russian. I mean, Pinky is the genius. He is the one who successfully took over the world. So our final boss is Pinky in the Brain and their giant robot. For those of you that didn't get enough of Robo Nick, that uh, didn't get enough Robo Nixon during uh, Baby's Kids, well, here's Robo Agnew. All we have to do is uh, use his own bombs to blow him up. All he had to do was not throw bombs at us. Circumstances. Uh oh. It's, uh, that's not good. Just let two bombs be on the screen at the same time. Because now he's gonna do that. And I'm losing a bunch of time because I botched that. Oh well. This way, uh, you know what? This is intentional. I'm showing off all of Brain's cool sprites. I'm showing off his cool Spark Mandrill impression. Um, it's actually really bad that he didn't blow up that bomb. First thing he does is throw a bomb at the unexploded bomb. Right, whatever, brain. Just have your weird, bizarre, abnormal AI pattern. That's, that's just fine. Thank you. 
bad pattern. I can't even get the fun kill. The fun kill is you make the legs kick Pinky in the brain for damage. in the brain. The brain is in considerable pain. But Pinky doesn't know how to draw. Because he has the intelligence of a breathment. But we just spent that entire fight getting our items back. We can open up our shop, and instead, without ever opening our shop, we sell them our shop and the items, after we just beat the crap out of them to steal the items back. <laughs> because Animaniacs! <laughs> The definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. He tries to take over the world every night, expecting that he'll succeed in fans. There is no wheel of morality! There is a roulette wheel, but uh, we're not going doing the bonus stage because nobody likes bonus stages. 